Whoever starts up the ship with Gideon's help and prepares to find the Legends of Tomorrow. He realizes that he is a miniature wave rider on the desk at the Hall of Doom. Elsewhere, the Legends mourn Maya's death, but continue to work on a way to fix the timeline. Ray builds a communication device in which they are able to contact Rip with. He reunites with the team and they head to the Hall of Doom to retrieve Ray's suit to restore the wave rider to its original size. When they arrive, Ray gets his suit back, but he, Jax, and Rip are attacked by Dark. They are saved by Mick and they escape the Hall of Doom after they restore the size of the wave rider. In their last ditch effort to save Maya's sign in the timeline, the Legends realize that they are the aberration. In order to save their friends, they must erase themselves from the timeline after retrieving the spear. They arrive in 1917 friends and Ray retrieves the vial of Christ's blood. Ebar shows up and destroys the vial before killing Ray by ripping his heart out. Sarah and Rip watch in horror as they see Ray's lifeless body, knowing that they must retreat. Back on the Wave Rider, the legends mourn Ray's death but continue to move forward with the plan to retrieve the spear. Ebar tells the Legion of Doom that the future legends are trying to ruin their plans and alter the future. Mick takes point, taking Nate and Rip with him to break into the other Wave Rider. They run into past Sarah, who suspects something is up after they behave weirdly. Nate sees a mile while talking to past versions of Jax and Sign. Mick retrieves the spear when they are warned by Sarah and Jax that the past team is coming back. She tells them that they are trapped on the other Wave Rider for the time being. Sarah and Jax try to prevent the past team from getting into the other wave rider while the future team try to get out. The past versions of the team incapacitate the future versions and take them in to question them. The future legends explain that they're trying to change the past and Mick tells them which of them died. Sarah and Nate talk to their past selves to try to help them make the right decision moving forward. The Legion attack the wave rider so the legends rush to get away with the spear. A time storm erupts and Rip explains that it's because of the future versions of themselves interacting with their past. The future legends plan to have the past legends time jump without them to get the spear away from the Legion. An all out brawl erupts between the legends and the Legion, past and present. Past Jack defeats Malcolm but not before the villain kills the future version of him. Ray watches the future Mick die but is saved by Snow by past Mick. Past and future Sarah defeat Dark together. Before they can all leave, Eobard appears with an army of his time remnants, killing future Rip. He tells the legends to hand over the spear and he begins to kill them all one by one. Past Sarah is left to change the reality and finds herself with Laurel before she became a legend. Sarah realizes that it isn't real and Laurel tells her that she can choose her destiny with the spear. Despite wanting to have her sister in old life back, Sarah decides not to further change the timeline. When she comes to, Eobard steals the spear back from her. Eobard tries to use it, but Sarah tells him that she depowered it. Before he can kill her, Black Flash appears and kills Eobard. He spares Sarah since he helped him rid Eobard from existence. Future Sarah thanks her past self for saving the day and restoring the timeline before she disappears. The Legends bring the Legion of Doom to their respective times and lock them up. In Central City 2014, Mick wipes Snark's memories, but not before reminding him of the hero he will become. In 1987, Miami, Sarah wipes Dark's memories and is finally at peace with her decisions. Nate tells Maya that he wants to stay with her in 1942, but she doesn't want to go back. She decides to go wherever Nate is despite the changes it will make to the timeline. Rip tells Sarah that he is going to take his leave now that she has become a better captain than he has ever been. They then share an emotional goodbye. The Legends plot a course for 2017 Aruba, but another time storm happens. They crash in 2017 Los Angeles and find dinosaurs wrecking havoc. The surroundings have also been altered with famous landmarks being moved there. Who will be the big bad next season? Will the speedster join the team? Is this the end of Eobard and the Black Flash? Will Nate realize that they need to return to Maya? Who will join the team next season? How great was this season? What's in store for next season? We'll find out in season three of Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs>